844, we're back. It's Valentine's Day, and we're talking about the love of gardening. Gary Lewis, one of our favorites, uh, is back, Phoenix Perennials. Uh, you know him, you love him, and we need to deal with the damage winter has done to our garden, so welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, but there's some key points to keep in mind with the insulation behind snow, so before we get to what to do, let's uh, examine the reality. So we're all really wanting this stuff to melt. We want it gone, but it's actually been a little bit of a good thing. But let's step back for a little bit and just look at what happened to our gardens this year. So first of all, we had a really mild fall, which we all loved, it was great, but it didn't signal to the plants that it was time to go dormant. And this worried me a little bit because if I mention Armageddon winter to gardeners, they immediately think back to 2008, 2009, when we had a crazy cold snap after a mild fall mm -hmm. and lots of plants died in the gardens. Now, this year wasn't so bad, and one reason for that is the snow. Before we had most of the cold snaps, we had a nice layer of insulating snow over top of our gardens. Just like being in an igloo, for instance, where it's nice and cozy in there, all the plants would have been under the snow, under that nice cozy blanket. So I have okay. some hope for this year. So when you look at hope, and I'm going to jump right to this, if your <laughs> plants are looking like this, there are key decisions that need to be made. Do you save or do you sacrifice the plants? What are we looking at to make these tough decisions? Uh, you're going to, you know, plants are now going to start coming out of dormancy, for instance, and you're going to have to just watch to see how strongly they do that. So this is my spurge, my euphorbia. I'm just going to have to say goodbye, sayonara, I loved you while it lasted, and it's time to move on. How did you know, though, looking at it, that, that there was no chance Happy of Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thanks. Deadflowers.com. Yeah. Create yeah. the website right there. Uh, how did you know, though, it's the point of no return? Uh, you know, the, the stems are mushy, the leaves are all, um, you know, curled up and dead, and we're not going to see any life coming from it. So if, you, if you're not sure, just wait for a little while. Wait for a month, wait for six weeks uh, to see if there are signs of life and how strongly things are coming back. This might come back a little bit from the base, but it might be, it might be strong, so mm -hmm. I'll keep it, or it might be really weak and spindly, in which case life is a little bit too short sometimes for looking at ugly things, so it might be time to just get something new. Or we could prune. Yeah. You brought the tools to do yeah, the pruning. Yeah, exactly. If, if need so be. You might have lots of, a lot of people have lots of broken branches, lots of uh, damaged hedges, bent branches, so you can start doing a little bit of staking in your garden mm -hmm. uh, and tying things up a little bit, uh, tying back in your hedges, or you might just have to start doing some pruning because things are broken and you really can't save certain things. What if it's a big garden you got to play with? Is that going to do the job? Then you bring out the big guns. Oh. <laughs> you bring out the loppers. Gary's got yeah. backup when yeah. it comes exactly. to the garden. Exactly. So. Okay, so we have about 90 seconds. I want to make sure we get through everything, but so, what, what's happening here for the spring? One of the most important things this year, because plants are going to be a little bit of weak, is fertilizing. So top dress your gardens with two to three inches of compost. For small spaces, you can use sea soil or other bagged compost or get the city to deliver you big piles of compost. You can also fertilize your hedges and your pots and your garden beds and that will really help the plants come back from this uh, from this winter. And then it's just about looking forward to the future. So you know gardening is working with nature and you have successes and setbacks in nature as well as gardening. So cry a little bit over some of your lost plants, but then make some plans, move on. It's uh, hellebore season now, so we have our opening weekend coming up, the hellebore hurrah. There's all kinds of inspiration for your garden. Uh, or, you know, you can plant some new things like some very fragrant Daphnes. And so there's all kinds of... Beautiful. That's amazing, eh? So there's all kinds of inspiration in your garden. So uh, lick your wounds a little bit after this inclement, crazy, horrible, no good, very bad winter. But, you know, look to your garden. There'll be lots of hope rising out of your garden now as all the plants start coming through the snow. It's like therapy with yeah. Gary when it comes to your gardening. PhoenixPerennials.com. We'll put the info on our social media page. And the Hellebore Hurrah going down at the end of the month. What's the exact date on that in February? 24th to 26th. Okay. We'll get the word out there for you. Great to see you. Great. Thank you. Okay. Taking a break.